Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to show you the basics of using Microsoft PowerPoint 2013 on a Windows desktop. So I'm just going to go into my start menu here and I'll search for PowerPoint and there it is at the top right here. Notice that I don't need to type in the whole word, it just comes up. So I'm going to launch that and again we have a bunch of different options here as far as what our uh, templates will look like. So more than any other program um, we want to choose a specific template here. We can uh, make it look all fancy, wood type, slice, all these different options. There's a bunch of different ones. Um, so actually I'm just gonna choose this ion one that looks really simple. So what that'll do is it'll come up and it'll show you what the preview slides look like with different colors and things like that. I kind of like this blue one, so I'm going to create the blue one. And if I cycle through that, it'll show you samples of what the types of slides will look like. So the whole point of PowerPoint is basically to, if you haven't done one before, is just to give a visual uh, aspect to a um, verbal talk you're giving. Um, so what we're doing here is we, we've got the program open. I'm just going to slide this at the top here so it'll get bigger. And on the left-hand side, we've got a list of slides. Like right now, we only have one which is probably our title slide and here's the details of it here and just like in Word and just like in Excel we have all of these tabs at the top here and they, they're different obviously based on what we're trying to do so we have insert design all of these different things so that design that I just chose that's this one here and I can change it to a, a number of other ones if I like but I'm just gonna leave it as I as I had it so again most of the common ones are over here so let's have this one be about my uh, favorite animals let's say uh, I'll call it my favorite animals these are my favorite and you'll notice there's all these boxes around everything when you type in PowerPoint so what, what that means is you can actually grab these and move them around so the arrows here mean that I can resize it, so that's moving the size of the box. The crosshairs mean that I move it, and if I grab on this circular thing here, this arrow turning around, that means I can rotate it like that. So I'm just going to make mine look a little crazy, and off, off we go over here. So you'll note that when I type in here, or click into the middle, that means I'm editing the text. I'm not actually doing that. So let's see. Uh, let's shrink this over here. Put that there. And I want to make this text a bit bigger, so I'm going to select that text and up here, let's type in, let's say 90 maybe. There we go, that's a bit better. And maybe I want to center that, so let's do that too. And now it's sort of going off the edge, so I need to adjust it. A lot of PowerPoint is just figuring out uh, where things should be placed on the page, which is much more freedom you have compared to Word. Um, these are my favorite. I want to add an exclamation mark to that. There we go, okay. So this is the first thing that my audience will see when I'm giving a presentation in class. Uh, so next thing, I'm just going to create a new slide, and this will just sort of be an introduction. Uh, so I'll say new slide. And usually when you create new slides, uh, it will be based on a different kind of template, right? So the first one came up, and all it had was a title and a subtitle. But Microsoft is pretty smart, so when you create a new slide, it'll uh, create different options for you here. So my add title. So I'm just going to start um, here is a list of my favorite animals. And then I can add text. A very common thing, and right off the bat you'll see it's using bullets, which is a list with a little icon on the left. So I'm just going to use the rabbit, or the, uh, so I'm just going to use the animals that I have uh, pictures of. So I'll say rabbit, tarsier, and then I'll add a bunch more. Fox, uh, arctic, Okay, so I think that's a pretty good list. Um, so when I'm looking at the slide, that looks a bit weird, right? I've got my title here, and I've got my list off to the center, but there's really nothing in here. Uh, I could add a picture if I wanted to, but I don't, I don't think we're at that point yet. So what I'm going to do is I'll click into this box, and I'll resize that so it's uh, a little smaller, and then I'll just shift it over and put it in the middle. And when I do that, let's see, when I get close to the middle, it kind of 
pops into place like that. You can see that. Um, there we go. And if you just drop it there, that means it's perfectly in the middle. So that makes that looks a little better than the other one did. Okay, so I'm going to move on and I'll do my rabbit first. So I'll go a new slide. And you'll notice that this template is very similar to the new template that I had. So I'm going to type in the rabbit. And I can type in text here or um, PowerPoint 13 gives me all of these options. I can put a table, a chart, a fancy graphic in, a video, um, an online picture. So that's a picture if I find it on Google I can grab the web address for that. Or I can add a picture that I already have. So I'm going to do that. I will add a picture and then I can go into my U drive and find my picture of my rabbit. And there he is. And I'll, I've just selected that under blue and I'll hit insert. And so there's my rabbit. So I'm just going to move him over here and I'll resize using those arrows on the bottom corner. And that's pretty good. So I want to put some text over here, um, but I can't, right? So all I need to do is click on insert here and I've got all these options of things that I can manually insert. Based on the template I could have just added a picture to this but this way it lets me add anything that I want to. So I'm gonna add a text box here and if I click and drag that will make a box for me to type into. So I say this is a rabbit he is cute. And I can type as much as I want I can do change the font size and the color and all sorts of things with that. I'm just because it's pretty simple, I'm going to put that down there. And I think I might center that. Okay. So I'm going to do something really uh So the next slide I'm going to create, I'm not going to use this basic slide thing. I'm just going to click this drop down. So here we've got all of the different types of slides I can do. So I've got content with caption. This might have been more appropriate with content for caption because I can put my picture in and then text on the side. But I'm just going to do a blank one just to illustrate how much you can customize. So if I hit blank there's no kind of drop areas to put anything in. So this way I need to go into insert and if I want to add a picture I'm onto tarsier now so I'll add a picture of my tarsier. So I'll go back to animals, tarsiers, and I double clicked on that and inserted him. So now I need to just resize. I don't know, I kind of want to make it match the rabbit slide. So let's make it a bit smaller. And uh, let's see, now I want to insert some a text box. So instead of clicking and dragging, I'm just going to click once. And then that automatically creates the size of text box that I need. And I'll say the tarsier. And that text isn't very big, so I'm going to select all of that, and I'll make that well, about 44. There we go. Move that up there. And then I'll insert another text box, and I want that to be about that size. So this is a tarsier. It's not a monkey after drinking coffee. So a very common thing to do is just to kind of spice up uh, what your presentation looks like is just to insert some shapes and you can put boxes and you can change the color of these you'll notice. So right So at the top here I've got this new uh, drawing tools tab which will allow me to change the color. So shape fill, I can change the color to gray, I can change the outline to red, uh, I can even do shape effects which will add glows and shadows and bevels and 3D rotations and that looks kind of cool but now it just sort of looks like a um, slanted one. Uh, I can do flips and rotates and I can align. There's so many different options that I can do here. A lot of people they use these arrows so I can insert an arrow and point that to his head or something like that. So it's really up to you what you choose to uh, add to your presentation and how you choose to format it. You have so much control. Um, you have so much control over what your presentation looks like that you can uh, 
update it pretty easily. Um, I'm going to just go back to the design real quick. If I don't like this uh, back blue kind of gradient background there, I can just change that right here. And that will allow me to see every time I cycle through and I can change the colors and all that sort of thing. So a lot of times you'll notice is based on the template that you choose, sometimes your content won't fit anymore. So like my rabbit here, that doesn't really work, so I'll need to resize that. So just be aware that when you do change your theme or change like backgrounds and things like that, um, it might change the entire look and the way that you've laid it out um, and each slide might have to be readjusted for every single slide you've created. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to do is just, it's really good practice when you do do a presentation. I'm just going to do uh, insert slide and I want to just do a, let's see, I'll just do a title only. And for this one I'll just say um, any questions. And make sure and thank your audience too. Thank you. Any questions? Ah. Any questions? And you'll notice this looks kind of weird, so what I'm going to do is resize this, put that down there. But now I have this line there. How do I get rid of that line? So let's move this out of the way. And it looks like that line is just part of the uh, template that I've chosen, so I'm just going to adjust that, and that way it looks sort of normal. Okay? Ooh, what if I just move that up like that. Well, that's even better. Okay, so that looks good. So one thing with PowerPoint is because this is intended to be uh, shown to a audience, every time that I uh, want to present it, I, I load the file up and then I'll go to slideshow here and I'll say I want to present this from the beginning. And what this will do is this will show it full screen like this and I use my arrow keys on my keyboard to move through each slide back and forth back and forth but you'll notice that it's not very dynamic as far as how these things move so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit escape to end my slideshow and then I'll go into transitions and so what this does is it allows me to animate between this slide and this slide so I'm just gonna do let's say fade on that one it'll give a preview that's good um, I'm gonna select this slide and I want that one to cut I don't know what that did. Let's go push instead. Maybe that's... There we go. That's more like it. Rabbit, and we'll split. And that did a nice kind of open door fade. Um, let's go random bars. Oh, that looks kind of weird. Maybe a shape. And you can look at the options in here as well. And then we'll go... Yeah, shape. What else we got? Flash. That was kind of annoying. Wind. Alright, so let's go back to our slideshow and we'll see what this looks like again. So it faded in. I'm going to hit next on my arrows. There we go. There's that wipe. There's the fly away. And there's just a straight one. So you'll find that some of these transitions are quite cheesy. Um, usually I tend to stick with the transitions that fade and maybe a push or a wipe. Um, th those are the most common and uh, they're probably not going to be that distracting. The last thing I wanted to show is just uh, your export options. So under File, you can save it like normal. You can save it to your U drive right here just like you can in Word and Excel. Uh, you can also print it and that means you can print all your slides and you can uh, change how many slides are per sheet so if I want uh, full page slides then it shows one page here we go I'm just cycling through all of my uh, slides or I can do uh, four slides horizontal six slides vertical there we go um, another option is just to export and I can create a PDF it'll even create a video and I can like add music and narration and things like that and I can even create handouts which will include uh, any notes that I may have typed uh, for my presentation alright so these are the basics of using Microsoft PowerPoint 2013 on a Windows desktop